Question number 32 says we should find the quadratic equation whose roots are 2 root 2 and 3 root 2. Remember, whenever you solve a quadratic equation, you normally obtain two results. So those two results, we can reverse them back to the original equation. That's what we are about to do here. Remember, whenever you solve a quadratic equation, you normally obtain the corresponding values of x uh, for the uh, independent variable. So we can say, finally, because these are the roots, it means that x is equal to one of the root 2 root 2, or x is equal to the other root, which is 3 root 2. And each of this solution, you can reverse it back. From this one, you can see x, if this one crosses over equality sign, it becomes minus 2 root 2. And to the right hand side, we have nothing because we have taken away 2 root 2 backward. And the other one too, x minus 3 root 2, we have equal to 0. So these are the two factors, which when we multiply them together, we are going to obtain that quadratic equation as required. So we say x minus 2 root 2 multiplied by x minus 3 root 2, the whole of this equal to 0. Now we are going to distribute. We are going to start with this first term. x, we are going to take it and distribute it through the second parenthesis. x times x is x squared. Again, you take it, you multiply it with the second term on the other parenthesis. Already we have minus sign here, so it's here again. 3 root 2 x, we are multiplying by x. So the whole of this times x. We are done with the first term here. Then we move to the second one. It contains negative sign. We are going to multiply it with this because this one is positive. So negatively over power. 2 root 2 multiplied by x for this and this. Minus times minus is plus. You know roots can multiply themselves. So we are going to say number by number, root by root. 2 times 3 is 6. Then root 2 times root 2 is root 4. Because 2 times 2 is 4. The whole of this equal to 0. Gradually, we are moving. Um, if you can see these are like terms because they contain x, they contain root 2. So if this is 3 pieces of this, and this is 2 pieces of this, minus this, minus this, we're going to add them together and attach negative sign. So this is x squared minus five of them, root two x plus six multiplied by whatever is under this root. But root four, which is the square root of four is two. This is equal to zero. We are going, this is x squared minus 5 root 2 x. 6 times 2 is 12. The whole of this equal to 0. So this is the quadratic equation which has been solved to obtain these two roots. And I can see here from the option is option C. Just that the way they have written it differs from how we got it because they decided to take the constant to the right. It's all the same. You can see x squared minus 5 root 2 x. If this one crosses over the quality sign, it becomes negative minus 12. This is the option they have from the question paper here, which is option uh, C. Now let us move on to question number 33.